We train tradespeople, electricians, HVAC, plumbers, with an online delivery. And to do that, we use a lot of immersive technology, point of view simulations. You might be troubleshooting a heat pump or working on a plumbing fixture, etc. So using VR as a, a way to mimic in the field training has been incredibly powerful for our customers and our students. We've taught over 43 virtual reality courses at Morehouse College. We are in humanities as well as STEM. We're also in business. And our students have learned, created experiences, and we've seen achievement increase by 11.9%. Using these types of tools literally is like opening the door and saying, all right, go run through that pasture. Make that sky purple. Make those flowers huge enough to throw a basketball through. But in doing that, empowering them to tell the story about the world the way they see it. When XR is introduced into the classroom, you can see students become motivated to come to school every day. And that's really important when we're discussing low-income young people who have emo social emotional challenges at home, where there's challenges where, uh, with literacy, maybe there's a digital divide, maybe there's um, language barriers. AI can become a thought partner. I actually encourage my students to use it because I feel like at this point, um, they know how to write. That's not the issue. The issue is how do we develop the writing and how can we have a tool that can coach them. It is not replacing your learning, but how can we have something that helps us in our thinking. On the AI side, we call it SAM, Skill, Advisor, and Mentor, and we put that co-pilot, SAM, along with the learner as they're in that learning environment. So if they have questions along the way, things like, why am I checking for 24 volts? It's like you have a live mentor there because the AI smarts allow it to answer using our data and its ability to communicate.